now, bud? Never done this before, boys. First try. Oh yeah. I love that. Turn up. Sure. Dude, I can't believe you guys are even on here. Mocajete. Yeah, bro, my, my, my mocajete hit. It was bussin', as they say. The kids these days, they say bussin'. Look here, folks. Look, we're wrenching on old man's. Oh, yeah, there we go. Got it to focus now, boys. Hey, facts. Mitchell Glenn Miller is the slowest guy I know, actually. So, so none of these are gonna work right here, bud. I and mean, you see, we have we have no more threads. You see, we have no more threads. It's hard to keep it focused, folks. No more threads. Okay, let's see where we're at. We ain't there yet, Slick. We ain't there yet. Oh, money. Money, honey. Yep. I'll, I'll put it on his tab. Don't worry. What do y'all think that's worth? About three flag hours? So. Just call it 200. Call it 200. We'll call it a day. That's fair. Whatever. I just want whatever's fair. You know, you, you tell me what's fair for the job. I'll take that. I'll be cool with that. Found the hole, Jimmy Dale. Yeah, we did, buddy. Sure did. Now picking the right tool. There it is. Got it. Anyhow, yeah, we went to the Mocajetes. It was fire. We even asked old boy how to say the name of that restaurant. He just looked at me and smiled. That was interesting. Maybe it's a secret. It's one of those. Uh, maybe he had a Latin tempo. I think he just had a Latin tempo. That's what it was. Oh, hey, it would probably help if I didn't put my damn finger over the camera, eh? What do you think? Finger on the camera. Orientation is locked. Guys, this is pretty difficult. So there I was. What was inside your mocajete? Man, it had some like dog meat, real chewy beef. It was nasty. But the shrimp was fire, the chicken was good, and the uh, the chorizo was good in there. It had chorizo and uh, what do they call cactus? <clears throat> I can't remember what the name is for cactus, but it had a piece of cactus leaf in it. That was great. Yeah, Ohio actually has pretty decent... Uh, Pretty decent Mexican food, matter of fact. And that's coming from a real Mexican. Oh. There you go. I got that part done. There I was. Shoo! Thing's shining, boy. Yeah, he probably didn't understand my... He doesn't know how to speak Spanish, probably. You know, I'm from Texas, so I can speak fluent Mexican. Did we have any trans fluid with dinner? Nah. C. 
Cincy Street Nights, yeah, baby. You need Wes to come make test passes for you? What are you talking about? Paul, what the hell are you talking about, dude? No. I can make my own test passes. Thank you very much. Where'd my damn tool go? I had the perfect tool for the job, and I set it down. Now I can't find it. Somebody else is probably going to need it later. It's not up here in the tool holder. Born in Houston. Uncle Jimmy. What year is Bill's Nova? <laughs> you think I have any clue what year Bill's Nova is? No idea. If I had to guess, I'd tell you it's a 70... Uh, what do y'all think? It's a 74? No, it ain't that. It's a 72. I'm going to say it's a 72. <clears throat> 71, 72, 74. Yeah, whatever. It's whatever. What do you want it to be? Let's call it that. That's a good idea. So... How flared does the thing need to be? Like, you know, it's just barely flared enough. Or does it need like a good amount of flare on it? I think it's flared enough. In my opinion, it's flared. All right, now it's not going anywhere. Let's, let's get her down. Oh, look at that. Caught my glasses. Slower than a herd of turtles. Jenny plans on coming further north to Michigan. Yeah, I'm down to go wherever, bro. Ugly started to set in. Hey, Dan, y'all know how to say some mean shit, bro. I promise you. One thing the comments will never forget is how to say some mean ass shit. Yeah, he's cool, but his nose, you know, it's, it's a little too big, man. Margaret Robbie, bruh, I don't want my old lady to remind you or get you any type of imagination, so. Maybe I need to limit how much of that model y'all be getting, you know what I'm saying? When am I coming back to Pinwell? I don't have any plans on coming back to Pinwell right now. I know they want me back out that way, but, uh. Shit, I ain't got no plans for shit because I ain't got no damn oil pressure, boys. And without no oil pressure, you can't do no racing, turns out. And this whole drive somebody else's car, I mean, that shit's cool and all, but... Like, let's face it, we're trying to put, put it on a bumper, you know? I met Jack Miner today, and he's like, yeah, how's the car coming? I was like, great. He's like, what are the plans? Plans to come out here and put it on the bumper, first pass. Literally, first fucking pass. Let's go put it right on the bumper. Hold on, I'm going to clean the camera off. Shake. Got a little bit of that mocha on the camera lens. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Everybody over here commenting on my shit last week. Modell needs a YouTube channel. Yo, she don't need all y'all motherfuckers on her ass. She likes her privacy. Bro, Tommy, Tommy, I took my turbo Mustang. I took my turbo Mustang, and I was going, fucking bullshit, roll gauge. I was going to take Billy, my Billy, not, not Billy, Billy. I was going to take, I was going to take Billy to soccer practice, and uh, that thing started knocking, so I think, uh, I think my turbo Mustang needs a motor. That does not feel good. It is not confidence inspiring at all. Ugh. Oh, it's horrible. Oh my gosh. That is not supposed to be like that, folks. Fucking second to neutral feels great, but reverse feels good. 
park feels way off. I should try this again, eh? I'm going to say that's first. I'm going to say this may be a three-speed shifter with a two-speed trans. Thanks, bro. Hope you got a fine old lady, too. Boom! I mean, I can't really get salty about y'all thinking my old lady being fine. I mean, I put her in the YouTube channel. Just some of the comments are a little, like, you know... Well, maybe uh, aggressive is the, the word. Just a tad bit, you know? For my liking. But, anyhow. Hey, Jimmy, how's the gangster doing with that Ohio weather? Bro, have you seen how nice it's been in Ohio? It's been nice as can be in Ohio. Jimmy, the skinny cable works better than the thick cable for shifting. The skinny cable works like th It's not good enough for Jimmy? Nah, player. This floppy dick-ass shifter setup right now, not good enough for Jimmy. I think it's hilarious how thirsty some of these guys get. Tell them, Cody. But I get it, bro. I totally get it. Like, how often do you come across a chick that is as beautiful as my old lady that is into race car shit? Like, pfft, doesn't happen. Doesn't exist. But, yeah. Y'all want to hear the story of me and Mo Dale? I was in junior year high school, and I was going to this fucking alternative school for the thugs. No, it wasn't for the thugs. It was. Maybe some kids were thugging, but not all of them. Some of them just didn't really fuck with high school, you know? So we were going to the school, and there was a security guard who, like, assigned you a seat. And uh, this security guard's name was Mr. Erky. Well, Mr. Erky set me next to Mo Dale. And then the rest is kind of history. She was in eighth. What? What is he talking about? Yeah, I was a junior in high school. Mo Dale was a sophomore in high school. She's one year younger than me. Guys, I'm not really content with that shifter setup. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do there. We put the shifter in, the trans was in neutral. The shifter on the trans was in neutral and it feels floppy. What's up, Jimmy Dale? Hello and cheers from Kentucky. Man, I wish I could come up with something that rhymed with Kentucky other than the word lucky, you know? Whip out the tire shine and give us a lesson on the Nova. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Jimmy rode the short bus. Tell him. Tell him. Come to St. Louis. Bro, St. Louis got the worst highways in America. I've been all over this country. Well, not really. But, uh, yeah, them fucking roads y'all got out there around downtown, those are... Uh, Double black diamond. Ooh. I haven't fixed shit. Now I'm just standing here. Where's everyone at? Chuck Rhymes of Kentucky. It does? Cow pucky? Cow pucky. Man, Kevin, that's kind of reaching, bro. Live in St. Louis. Damn near a nightmare. It is a nightmare. Short bus is faster than the long bus. Tell them. What's up from North Idaho in a house? Bow, 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 bow. You need a kidney belt to drive that St. Louis all in them damn bunks. You ain't ever lied, boy. You ain't ever lied. Jimmy, Michigan roads are worse. Well, shit, I'll be missing Michigan. Come on. Put a ring on her. Tell them. Chucky, not Chuck. Oh, Chucky in Kentucky. Oh, okay, I see where you're going with it. It needs a little wing. Hey, Tom, San Antonio in the house. Hey, I'll be river walking. I'll be river walking down there in San Antonio. You know what I'm saying? Come on and talk to me. Uh, Jimmy, how do you get into drag racing? 
Did your dad race? Hell no. Bro, my dad was like, oh, you're going to the track, huh? Oh, you're going to go to the track. He always made fun of me for going to the track. He was into fucking golf. And everybody knows golf's whack. But, yeah. Uh, his story was that he spent a bunch of money on racing when he was younger. And he was frustrated that I was going to spend all my money on racing. And he was right. And here we are in Ohio spending all our money on racing. <coughs> hey, Jimmy from Oregon. Oh, yeah. You guys know what's up in Oregon, bro. Y'all definitely know how to party. Small tire gangster from Western Australia. Shoo! You think it takes your comment longer to get on here because it has to travel so far? You think the guys from Australia's comment takes longer to get on the chat than somebody like the homie from Florida? How are old and you? My curiosity has peaked. How old are you? Hey, old enough. Come on. Uh, Jacksonville, Florida in a house. Hey, man. Stay alive. Keep at it. Golf. Exactly. Freaking hilarious. <clears throat> Best bud around is grown in Oregon. Shit, you said it, not me. Hello from Dallas. Glad you're still alive out there. One time for the one time, bruh. Bruh, speaking of one time for the one time, this is that kind of that lookout racing red, isn't it? Kind of. Hey, I got a new shirt coming out. It says heartbeat, heartbeat, there we go, heartbeat of America. No, wait, not of America. Heartbeat of small tire. The heartbeat of small tire shirt, fixing to be fire. Your next hat needs to be a beaver hat. Hey, well said. So, hey, the chat's going so fast, I can't keep up with all you shaky sons of bitches. Yo, Texas boy from Crosby. Hello from Dan Billy, Illinois. Look out one time for the one time. Dude, who is Jimmy Dale? That's what I'm saying, bro. Who the heck is this guy? All right. Look, I'm Jimmy Dale. I broke into the old man's house. I'm currently undercover, broken in the old man's, all right? Nothing runs around here, so I can't steal anything. But, uh, yeah, fucking Turbo Nova, working on it. What else you want to know? Dude is everywhere. Do it for Jimmy. <laughs> if I had a goat, his name would be Jimmy. <laughs> Don't you think? That's a good name for a goat. <laughs> Uh, I hope Bob's feeling better, bro. Bob was dancing around the other day. He seemed like he was in a great mood, killing it. Talked to Bob today. He was like, uh, something about putting the cylinder heads on my motor, and uh, he's got a new hot boy dyno. So Bob's got a hot boy dyno he's super stoked about. And he's kind of, you know, a uh, hot boy dyno blues right now. Just, you know, you know that song, the Hot Boy Dino Blues? Got the Hot Boy Dino Blues. Where's Morgan? Yeah, that's not creepy, Jason. Uh, Fort Worth, Texas in the house. Jimmy got gapped by a Hemi. Never, has never happened in the history of life. Jimmy ain't getting gapped by no Hemi, nothing. What do you think about being in Ohio? Uh, Ohio's really nice. Really nice. It's like all green here. Everybody who lives here is like a professional lawn mower. They just mow their lawns like every single day. The other day it was raining outside. Motherfuckers still out there mowing their lawn. Just like Forrest Gumping it in this place. Uh, what, how long does it take you to get in Jimmy Dale mood in the morning? Shoot, I'm telling you, son. It's hard to come out and just put a smile on and start kicking ass, bro. It can it can be difficult, even for Jimmy. It can be it can be hard, for sure. Y'all 
y'all got to realize someday, I'm just like everybody else, someday, some days life isn't as awesome as it could be, you know? So you're going to fake your enthusiasm. I don't want to say fake it, but I just probably don't film on those days. It's just super hard to be like banger after banger after banger after banger. You guys want constant bangers, and it's super difficult to keep up with bangers when your life isn't banging every single day, right? So I think we'd make the most of it for sure. Shit's been banging out here, that's for sure. It's been wild out here. Houston, Texas in the house. Why are your eyes so squinty? Bruh, bruh. Why are your eyes so squinty, bruh? Freaking fake it till you make it, bruh. Bruh, bruh, fake it till you make it. How's your wife's grandmother doing? Is she okay? Oh, dude, she's back to smoking cigarettes and drinking vodka. She's fucking mint, bro. Doing great. Yeah. You, you seen that? I don't know what episode it is, but I feel like there's some cartoon or some shit. They're like, oh, he's having a heart attack. And then they get him inside the, the, uh, they get him inside the hospital and then they fart. And they're like, ah, oh, oh, it was just a fart. That's all. It was just a fart, everybody. False alarm. The only thing you burn one down in the shop or you got to go outside. Uh, I played the fifth. The fifth. What's up, Jimmy? Social Circle G A in the house. What do you think of that new toy, new fox they just got? It looks clean. Bro, I don't think I've ever, uh, I don't think I've ever put it on my channel, but I got a brown fox that, uh, it's the same thing. Mine was just a turbo, and uh, Billy's was a turbo Cobra. Um, but they both suffer from the same issue. Those early, those early, early uh, 79 to 81 Fox bodies, they got smaller wheel wells than the other ones. You know what I mean? The regular Fox bodies. Them 79 to 81 cars, they got really uh, shallow shallow uh wheel wells so putting wheels on it has been a struggle but yeah i think it's clean as shit i think it's super clean jimmy's funny motherfucker i try bub live safety meeting no dog no hey i see you have 958 people on here you should fucking smoke weed on fucking youtube that's a great idea that's a great idea guys Y'all are full of great ideas. Got a twin turbo Godzilla and a Fox body wagon. Shit, I ain't never heard of a Fox body wagon, but that sounds intense. Got 990 people on here. I can't believe it. Folks, we're hot. This Johnny's real hot. Oh, boy. I think I just pulled a muscle. I mean, what you want to know? It's got shit. It's all wired up. It all works. Check out Rob's situation. Looks good to me. It's good enough for Jimmy in here, for sure. Definitely good enough for Jimmy. I want y'all to see something. Look at the level of dedication to not drilling a hole in the dash. The man was so dedicated that he did not want to drill a hole in the dash. That Look at this situation here. He's got this set bolt right here that kind of puts tension on it, right? And then he's got this little chingadero that he made right here, a little dongle. And it comes up and it folds and it goes like this, just so the dash doesn't have to be drilled into. Like, this is the level of dedication. Let's call it that. Dedication right there. What do y'all think of that? I think it's pretty good, actually. Not mad at it. Kind of takes up a bunch of room. When you're going slow in your bracket racing, this is very important, okay? Very important. We had some bracket racers out there at the track today. That's what I'm doing, blazing it up. I like to imagine Jimmy in a twin turbo Nova, and he's just blazing it up 
stoplight to stoplight, just dragging motherfuckers. And he's got nitrous on his twin turbo. Tell him. Hey, Jimmy, what's your guess on the fresh engine horsepower on a motor? Man, I don't want to get my hopes up, but I think it would be sick. Hear me out. 434, 14 to 1, hot boy intake. Put your guesses in the comments. Let's see what the guesses say. I'm going to say I think it makes 700 horsepower. If it makes 700.0000, I'm fucking thrilled, bro. That'd be the coolest shit. I'd have 700 horsepower on motor. I'd be super thrilled with that. But maybe I'm a little aggressive, you know, 434, AFR, 227 heads, uh... 14 to 1. Did I say it's a 434 already? 434. Uh, hot boy intake. I got a new Biggs carburetor coming. Uh, and they're sending two carburetors. So we're going to be able to try both on the dyno. Uh, let's see what y'all said. 750, 650, 785, 645. All right, here's some room for uh, to base your knowledge off of. The 427 that was in the car made 590 on motor. So it made 590 on motor in the 427 that was in the car. That's to the flywheel, just like we'll do at McVeigh's. But it made 590 to the flywheel, and it was a 427, and it was like 10 and a half to 1. And it didn't have a hot boy intake on it, but it did have Biggs carburetor, and it made 590. So now we're going 14 to 1, 434, hot boy intake, heads got milled, zero deck to block. Like, I know none of that's going to make a difference because it's still going to be 14 to 1, so it's not really giving you any new info. But I'm hoping for 700 horsepower. That's what I'm hoping for, my new motor. Anything done to the heads. They're CNC AFRs. No, nah, they ain't really been hogged and bogged crazy, nothing like that. There ain't no epoxy in the heads. That's... Chief told me one time, that's how you know they're serious. You know, like, if they ain't got epoxy in the head, they you don't even take them hoes serious, you know? So, okay. They didn't got epoxy in the head, so they're still not serious, maybe. But it's not like it's a bad head. This blunt for you, Jimmy. Hell yeah, bro. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Blue! Blue! Just like that. 1,000 horsepower. It's going to make a 1,000 horsepower on a 110 jet. Believe that. Believe that. 1,000 horsepower. Paper thin ports. Yeah. That's how the aluminum motor is. There's no way a 1,000 up on motor. No, no, no. There ain't no way. It don't work that way. Y'all know better. Boy, Magic give him all he against them pro mods on that TV show. Boy, tell you what, man. We did give him hell against them pro mods. Dennis Bailey's all in on talking on Facebook. Oh, yeah, he couldn't keep up. Bro, I paid 12 grand for my car. You got 12 grand in your turbos. We ain't the same, player. Winning is a relative term, especially when it comes to street outlaw shit. So, yeah, we gave him hell. Uh, what do we got? Can't wait to finally meet you in Poland in person. War in the Woods, baby. I will be at War in the Woods. I will be... And uh, I will be at Cincy Street Nights this weekend. Jimmy, sell me a plate. Bruh, I would love to sell you a plate, Mr. Cucumber. Mr. Cumber. Mick Cumber. Mick Cumber. Yo, Poland, are you still in here? My boy Poland will be in the office tomorrow. He he'll get you a plate out. I'll be in Ohio, but I can still take your phone call. Uh, Mick Cumber. You need to send me your info. You should go to the Facebook page, Jimmy Dale Racing. Jimmy, Jimmy Dale Racing on Facebook. Go to Jimmy Dale Racing on Facebook and then send me a message so I can call you and we can get you a plate. Sell you a plate. I'd love to sell you a plate. If anybody else needs not your stuff, holla at your boy. Uh, you funny to watch the show. UG fun to watch the show.
I don't know what you mean to say, but I love you. I want to drive magic. Oh, hey. Y'all know the dude who, uh, y'all know the dude who won the opportunity to drive magic? He's like a, he's a helicopter pilot. He's been to Iraq and all this shit. Like, you know, for real, American hero. For real. Uh, so that's awesome. And we got to get him in the car soon. But we got to find somebody else to drive Magic Johnson after he drives Magic Johnson. So right now when you buy a t-shirt, jimmydaleracing.com, you're entered in a chance to drive Magic Johnson. Still, that's that offer's still on the table. Uh, I think I'm going to change it instead of per t-shirt. I think I'm going to do per order because... Last time, your boy, yeah, bro, this is hilarious. Your boy got on there and was like, oh, he got two t-shirts. So I took his name and I wrote it out two or he got two t-shirts. So I wrote his name twice on the damn spreadsheet. And so I went through there and made a whole spreadsheet and typed everybody's name. So if you got five t-shirts, I typed the name and then I copied it four times after I typed it. You know, like it was per t-shirt and it just took me so long to do all that stuff. So, I think the best thing I can do is to change it to per order. I pre-ordered my shirt the other day. Yo, my homies waiting on shirts. I know a lot of you guys are waiting on shirts. And what happened was I sold out of 3X, then 2X, then XL, then large, then medium of the Small Tire Gangster in the Magic Johnson shirt. And since I pay for the shipping on the shirts... I'd be an idiot to send you one shirt that I do have and not the other shirt that I don't have. So your boy is waiting on more shirts to get done. But I just paid the deposit the other day. They should be done soon, any day. We should have shirts coming. Boom! Boom! Uh, he said, my shirt, though. Oh, he got his shirt. Come on. 5.30, new engine on motor through the 8th, 5.37? Nah, player, nah. If we go 5 anything on motor, that bitch is flying. And it's not going to do that, but it would be cool. Jimmy for Prez. Thanks, dog. What NX kit you recommend for a 302 small block Ford? I'd first recommend doing an LS swap, all right? And then after I did an LS swap, I'd probably get a 92 or 102 millimeter throttle body plate kit. And if I had a 4500, 4150, I'd get a plate kit like that. Uh, should you know you got them thick fans? You should know you got them thick fans. What is you talking about? We got thick fans? That makes me feel good. You got two first names. Shit, I got a bunch of first names. Super Dave Cumber just joined Jimmy Dale Racing. Oh, dude, Dave Cumber in the house. Dude, thanks, man. Uh, Boo on LS, mid-sevens on motor, eighth mile. Yo, dog, Magic Johnson already went 650s on motor with the old motor, so... 620, 630s with the new motor? Is this realistic? I think that's realistic, bro. Uh, put some comments. Ask some questions in the comments. We, we keep talking shit. Jimmy Dean Sausage. Hey, it's Big Jim to you, baby. Uh, what's your favorite car? Yo, dog. My favorite car. My first hot rod was a 76 280Z. And I LS swapped. It was an aluminum 5.3, six-speed car. It was sick, bro. It lasted three months. And then the, the hatch wouldn't shut. And then the hood wouldn't shut. And then I had to, like, bend a door to get it to shut. It just kind of fell apart. And then after a while, this is when your boy didn't have no bread. Had no bread. And uh, was working insurance. So I couldn't afford things like an oil change, dumb shit. So you know what I did? I blew my motor up instead, spun a oil, uh, spun a can bearing. So I spun a can bearing in that Datsun that I'd LS swapped, and then I didn't have enough money to put it back together. Pathetic. And your boy sold it. That's what happened. Sold it. And I don't know what happened to it. Last time I heard, it was in uh, Oklahoma. How much was a gangsta chain? More than you can afford, pal. Ferrari. Uh, what's a good NX kit for my Civic Si running a K twenty four? Um, probably a turbo. Um, probably a turbo. You know, that's typically 
what goes for uh, Turbo. Um, but no, we make a nozzle kit for Civics. Come on. You guys, will it be faster than Bill's Malibu? So Bill's Malibu's got like a 308 first gear, and my Mustang's got a 180 first gear. So I think we both got a 410 rear gear, but his first gear is way more aggressive. Yo, Terry McKee, boy. Terry McKee just bought a t-shirt. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate you. How's your wife and grandma? My wife, fine as hell. My grandma, she's doing all right. I think you're a better promoter than an insurance salesman. Fucking tell them, Johnny. Tell them, Jenny, anytime frame on shipping mullet wigs. If you ordered, uh, you know what? Just send me a note. <clears throat> I, honestly, I should be inside the house right now on my laptop sending mullet wigs. But I'm not. I'm out here bullshitting, which I don't know. Morally, I'm forced like make content, do my job, send mullet wigs, make content, send mullet wigs, make content. I, it's it's hard. It's hard. It's diff definitely difficult. What's the old man up to? The old man right now is doing voiceovers. So I'm going to I'm just going to guess the voiceover. Wednesday morning I woke up. No, no, no. That wasn't very good. Uh he's going to say and Uncle Jimmy Dale or no, I'm not doing a good impression. I can't really do a good impression, but the old man's upstairs doing voiceovers right now. We need to see Jimmy Dale rocking a white 98 Tahoe. Yeah, now we're talking. How do you get dentures? It's actually a crown. Can you tell? You can't tell. That's why they that's why they're so good. You can't tell. They're not dentures, baby. My teeth don't come out of my head. Uh budget, we still need to have a mullet off. Mullet versus mullet. Hat. Oh, let's do it. Need a four hundred and twenty cubic inch. Come on. And we already had a four twenty seven and uh there was no way to go down without buying a crank, so we went up. Uh, he probably heard him from Mexican food. <laughs> Yo, when Bill Hoskinson says that he's going to eat Mexican food, this man means he's going to eat chips and salsa and chicken nuggets. As a grown-ass man, I went to Mexican food with this motherfucker tonight. He ordered chicken nuggets, bro. And then Vicky's getting cultured. I'm staying up here. Vicky's getting all this culture. Now Vicky's like, oh, we'll have some queso, please. And... They're all like, oh, cheese dip? She's like, no, no, queso. Yeah, real shit, all right? She, she's part Mexican. Where was Jimmy in 72? <laughs> I don't know. You have to ask my dad where his nuts were hanging. They got ponchos up there. Bleah! Bruh, ain't nobody going to ponchos, bruh. I, I don't know who goes to ponchos. I don't know a single person that goes to ponchos. Other than raising the flag, I mean, I don't even want to say it all the way. It's going to it's gonna make me gag. Raising the flag. Raising the uh, I can't even think about it. It's disgusting. Bill might be at Cracker Barrel. Blah. No, they, they, they ain't at Cracker Barrel. Sort of reeking. I was two in 72. Jimmy Dale. Hey, old enough. Come on. Uh, somebody's sending me messages right now. They want to know something. When you switch into Pro Charger, bruh, when I start selling gold and stuff, I don't know, like, I don't know how sustainable this profession is, if you call it that a profession. I don't know how sustainable this is. Like, how long can you YouTube for a living, you know? Like, at what point is it, does it get tacky to ask your people to buy your merch? Like, I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm, for real, I'm just winging it, you know? I. Right now, I depend on your merch sales because our U, our YouTube channel doesn't make enough money to pay the bills, you know? So I depend on... 
Nitrous Express, and I depend on merch sales, and uh, those are, you know, that's, that's what I depend on, but not trying to hide it. Sell more plate systems. Yeah, exactly. Sell more plate systems. YouTube, YouTube is like the rap game. Well, I feel like the rap game, a lot of times there's not enough room for everybody to shine at the same time. But with the YouTube gig, there is enough room for everybody to shine all the time. Like with the YouTube gig, there's almost not enough content. And I know that because I just drove 16 hours in the truck and your boy ran out of YouTube shit to watch, you know? Uh, and I say that out loud, I should have gone to my damn Facebook page where everybody put their YouTube channel and I should have watched that shit now that I'm saying it out loud. Well, now I know what I'll do on the way home. YouTube is endless. Yeah, bro, for real. Make Drag Racing Great Again 2024. Bro, I got some ideas, but Poland would literally cut my head off if I started telling you guys what type of plans that we have in the works for next year's Small Tire Gangsters. Like, things we can't talk about. That right there. Can't talk about that. Uh, but it's going to be huge. And uh, rapping on YouTube. Jimmy's rapping on YouTube. Jimmy's going to need his puffer. He's talking so much. I created a monster, but nobody wanted to see Jimmy no more. They shady. Hey, tell them. I want to put a pass in Magic Johnson. It's been 20 years. Eric, I'd love for that to happen, bro. You go buy you a Jimmy Dale racing t-shirt. Oh. Uh, we already touched base on that, but I'm going to tell you again, I got a new t-shirt design on the way. I got a new t-shirt design, and you know the Heartbeat of America shirt? It's the Heartbeat of Small Tire. The Heartbeat of Small Tire. It's fire, too. Hot fire. And it's on like that. Imagine like Cowboys Super Bowl 1995 gray. You know what I'm saying? The gray color. It's like not gray. It's kind of like it wanted to be a white shirt, but it did they didn't have white, you know, they just had to like mix the colors to make as white as they could. And they still had some like black dots in that. It's that color. It's called Ash. All right. Uh, David Roberts bought a t-shirt. Let's go. Let's go. $25. That just means I made like nine bucks. Hit dice. So have you been on a hell of a ride in Bill's Turbo Sting? Nah, bro, I got my own turbo thing. I ain't going to be super impressed. What do I look like? Some girl with an accent. <laughs> uh, I'm sure she's sweet as can be. I don't look like some southern girl with an accent, though. I could put my mullet wig on and fake it, maybe. Love you, Jimmy. How many times you farted today? I don't know, but earlier, a lot earlier. F the Cowboys. Hey, you said it, not me. How do you come? You sound like a, a Cowboys fan talking like that. <laughs> uh, how do you come up with Magic Johnson name? <whistles> Y'all want to hear about how we came up with Magic Johnson's name? <sighs> all right, this is how you came up with a Magic Johnson name right here, all right? So first, you take some Magic Johnsons, all right? And then once you take some Magic Johnsons, you call the guy that's selling his race car. And the story on Magic Johnson, the story on Magic Johnson is that, oh boy, built it in 2008 and 9, 10. And it was my high school best friend, Sean. His dad, Lloyd, is the one who bought Magic Johnson. Bruh! Bro, this dude just sent 50 bucks, dude. Wallin. Hey, man, I'm trying to talk right now, and you're over here distracting me, all right? I'm trying to tell my story, and I'm over here getting distracted by $50. Psh, what kind of world is this? All right, back to the... Thanks for the 50 bucks, bro. That's awesome. You're the best. Um... So first, you take some Magic Johnsons. Once you take Magic Johnsons, then you come up with this idea to spend a majority of your savings on a race car, all right? And then when you spend a majority of your savings on said race car, wait, 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 then you got to go to the dude who's selling the race car and lowball him on the race car. 
So you lowball him on the race car. He laughs at you. And then you eventually show him that you're serious. And, uh, and he sells you the race car. I mean, that's pretty much it, I guess. So in 2008, uh, Lloyd is building this car to keep Sean focused. Let's call it that, focused. But you already know what happens after high school. So this is like, we're like 17 years old and 17, 18 in 2008. And Lloyd's just trying to keep us out of trouble. That's all he's trying to do. Like, it's the classic, you know, Bill and Billy story. Like, he's just trying to keep his kid out of trouble. So how he knows to do that is something badass, like race car shit. And that really worked, I think. But uh, Lloyd, <clears throat> Lloyd put this car together, and we never really called it anything. It was always called the black and silver car or the Mustang because he already had a Nova. And, uh, and anyhow, Lloyd put this car together, and he put Sean in it. And I'll never forget Sean's first pass in Magic Johnson. He runs down. He's in the right lane, right? He's in the right lane. There's some other dude in the left lane. My boy Sean runs down there about half track, gets squarely. He gets squarely, right? Squirt. He slides over to the left lane, right? So at this point, he was in the right lane. Uh, this is probably y'all's left, but he was in the right lane, right? He, he gets squarely. He gets into the left lane. Remember, there's a dude in front of him. There's a dude in front of him down here. He's just making his pass. Whoa. And then once Sean gets over here, what does Shawnee boy do? He nabs back in it. Whoa. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, bro. He was in the right lane. He took off, got sideways, came over into the left lane. And when he came into the left lane, Instead of just being like, whoo, still alive, you know, getting it back over into his lane and just putting down the end of the racetrack. No, nah, this motherfucker, he slides sideways. <laughs> he gets back in it. And uh, Lloyd said, uh, we all come running up to the car. You know, all of Sean's friends, we're all excited. And he comes running up to the car. And he said, uh, he said, boys, y'all going to have to give me a minute with my driver. I said, Oh, all right. He was very serious. We said, okay. So we all walked away. And uh, Sean never drove again. Facts. That's how the story went. And after that, Lloyd said, uh, get out the car. And Lloyd drove from every... No, no, that's a lie. Sean ended up getting his driving ability. <laughs> Sean got his driving ability back a few months later. But at that point, Sh Lloyd had already started driving... And it kind of got the itch again, maybe. And, and so Lloyd was really the one who drove the race car. Sean would drive it from time to time. But for the most part, Lloyd's who drove it. He didn't take my $10 of Yellow Belly. He has to take this $10 house of gummies and Pop Rocks. Hey, bro, good looking out, bro. Appreciate you. I could use some Pop Rocks right now. Steve Griffin with the 1999, baby. What does this look like? An info marshal? Welcome to the Jimmy Dale Info Marshal. Uh, let's talk about trans brake release technique. If you guys ain't doing this when you release, uh, if you don't do this motion, you're you're not even doing it right. You know that? Uh, like that. And then you got to make a good face too. You got to practice. See? That's how you do it. Jimmy Spooge sauce of your face. Let your lady get a hit. What the fuck is he talking about? Just Takla Pez. Oh, damn. Tulaki Pawaki in town in Mexico. That restaurant is fire. Hey, you ain't ever lied. It was fire. But I think my mocajete was actually put together before Miss Vicky's fried chalupa thing. And so my mocajete wasn't as fire as it could have been. Like last time, it was a lot more fire. And then this time, the old boy didn't even know what a dressed glass was. Bro, if you don't know what a dressed glass is, like, come on. What are you doing? Like an eight-second ride, the bull throwing the hand up. Yeah, exactly, bro. That's exactly how you do it. Like, just like that. 
Pop rocks are fun in the bedroom. Bro, now y'all are going off saying some weird shit. Y'all got to do it just like that. Throw your arm up. That's the way to do it. Yep, tell them. I remember Sean from when I lived in Riverside. He used to hang out over at my house and party a lot. Justin Rogers. Justin Rogers is in the house. Man. Justin Rogers. Why does that name sound so fucking familiar? Man. I'm sure I'd probably know who you were if I saw you. Throw your hands up and hit the parachute. Oh, yeah. That's all I need to do is fuck up Bill's car. That'd fucking really send him over the moon. Throw your hands up and hit the parachute. Fruit roll-ups, $10. Freaking come out at night. What? Johnny. Thanks, bro. My boy Johnny Weaver always been ride or die since, like, the beginning of Jimmy Dalen. Jimmy Dale in one point, before we were even calling it Jimmy Dale in, Johnny was there. So thanks, Johnny. Appreciate you, bro. Some of these comments make me gag. Make you what? Might be smoking something. More weed than sales. What? $90. Moon pie and Pepsi. You ever play with Bill's RC Nitro trucks yet? I ain't got time for that shit. No, no, I should be sending mullet wigs right now. I should be sending mullet wigs, and I ain't sending no damn mullet wigs. Miss Maverick wants a grudge race. With what? Show us trans brake throttle. Uh, I would, but your boy, I hooked up the damn, uh, uh, not I. I didn't do shit. I did the throttle pedal part. Rob did the top end part, but... This uh, this carburetor is actually hooked up, so I don't want to be pumping on it all dry. You know, it ain't got no fuel in it. Like, this is probably bad practice. Miss Maverick got in Magic Johnson. Yeah, what about it? She's welcome to drive Magic Johnson anytime. How long you been in a Nitrous Express? A little over a year. Say, man, what's good? What's good, Godzi? How you doing, bro? I farted. Hey, if I got a fart, I'll fart right here on YouTube for y'all. No problem. That's what you want. Damn! Bro, Ronnie Stanley just bought $100 worth of Jimmy Dale merch. He's going to be pissed when it takes forever for him to get it. <laughs> See what I did there? See what I did there? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You, you guys buy merch and just practice your patience, all right? <laughs> Blah! Blah! Yo, it's it's hella hard to get Sean. It's hella hard to get Sean to come to the racetrack. He was racing hella hard with us uh, last year, and you know Sean's always one of those like if he's into it, he's really into it. If he's not into it, he's not into it. So he was really into racing with us last year, and uh, I know that Lloyd and Jackie, his parents, I know they love watching the Jimmy Dale show and watching their old car on TV. Like, bro, think about best case scenario. You sell your race car to somebody. You sell it to, I mean, it's kind of weird to say this, but Lloyd was like my second dad growing up. Me and Sean were so close as kids. Like, I was at, I was at Sean's house more than I was at anybody's house. And so Lloyd is someone I spent a whole bunch of time with, you know. So he sells his car to this kid that, you know, was around growing up. And then the kid fucking takes the car and ends up on Street Outlaws and runs out of Doc's life and fucking goes to Vegas and this, that, and the other. And, like, makes a whole career out of a race car. Like, that shit don't happen. That whole magic name part, like, yo. It's true. It's true. It's magic, bro. For real. What is Jimmy Dale's opinion of No Prep Kings? That'd be a good story. No Prep Kings was the worst race I've ever been to in my entire fucking life. Facts. Worst experience ever. But imagine everybody that you didn't like as kids and everybody who picked on you in high school happens to be at the racetrack that weekend and they're shit-faced drunk. That's what MPK was for me. That's the best way to describe it. Uh, I think those buddies that help you accomplish your dreams and gold nuggets we find along the life, man. Uh, Godsey, I don't know what you're talking about, but I appreciate you, bro. 
Uh, what is Jimmy Dale's opinion on MPK? Told you. The gut is the best. Most gangster track out there. Yeah, absolutely. Even when the owner's saying dumb shit, like, I, apparently Eason said something about Mexicans. <sighs> Bruh, 95% of your business is Mexican people. How would you say anything about Mexicans? It makes no sense, bro. Yeah. Uh, but Reaper said what? Bro, Reaper didn't say shit. You going to MPK with Billy? What? You think you could outrun Milkman Square Body? No! Absolutely not. Bro, Milkman was like a car away from Can 2. That's a real small tire car. A real small tire car. I ain't got a real small tire car. I got a true street car. That's what my car is. A true street car. Not a small tire car. We still need to find a small tire car, but can you imagine how many t-shirts and mullet wings I got? A, mullet wings. Maybe that's a good idea. I wonder how we can put a wing on a mullet. Yeah. Anyhow. Uh. Hell with what Reaper said. What's up, moonshiners? Reaper's a clown. Hey, you said it, not me, bro. He said, do I got to paint this thing or are we going to wrap it? And all I could think to myself is, somebody call the EPA. Oh, uh, let's see. Who's Jimmy Dale's favorite drag racer? Um... Mm, like let's let's be more specific when you ask what who is Jimmy Dale's favorite drag racer. Right now, Mo Dale is my favorite drag racer. Right now, Mo Dale is more excited about drag racing than a lot of people I know. So yeah, right now Mo Dale is my favorite drag racer. For sure. Hands down. This guy's fifty dollars. You have me rolling. Oh, that's the same fifty dollars from earlier. Okay, let's get my hopes up. Uh, y'all don't have to tip nothing. Do not feel like you got to do that. F Reaper. Tell them. Tell them. Uh, Shirley Mildowney. Nah, 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 nah. How did Jimmy name? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ooh. All right, this is how the Jimmy Dale name came to be. Your boy was at Street Outlaws. No, 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 no. Uh, fastest in America. Your boy was the fastest in America. And I've been there like three, four days. We cutting up, you know, talking shit on the starting line. And I really think Smoke is normally the fastest mouth on the show. Like, for sure. Smoke, the fastest talking, quickest witted, you know, pop, 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 pop. That, that's Smoke for sure. So, so I jumped on set and we talking shit and boom, boom, boom. We're going fast. Woody woo, woody woody woo, and uh, woody woody woo. We're going back and forth, and he says, uh, you know, bet a hundred, bet a hundred. I said, okay, man, bet. He says, uh, uh, and a few races go by. I said, hey, man, bet a hundred, bet a hundred. He said, nah, nah, I quit gambling. I said, oh man, your mama's gonna be so proud of you. A few races go by. Smoke says, hey, man, bet that, bet another hundred. I said, oh, you gambling again? And he said, yeah, I'm gambling again. I said, man, when y'all mama finds out, boy. And we were just cutting up, right? So me and Smoke cutting up, cutting up, cutting up. And, uh, uh, you know, a few days go by and I'm walking back to my trailer. Now, what y'all don't know about No Prep Kings, or No Prep Kings, what y'all don't know about these Street Outlaw shows and Fastest in America and this, that, and the other, what y'all don't know about that shit is that they structure the parking arrangement and, like, most popular to least popular, right? So the Joe Schmoes are like a half a mile down the road at the back. And the front is all Ryan Martin, Kai Kelly, Scott Taylor, Bobby Ducati, you know, J. Day DeBose, DeLaus, call him whatever. Uh, all these shaky, shaky Johnsons, all the shaky Johnsons are at the front. So all the Joe Schmoes, we got to walk to the back, right? So the Joe Schmoes, you know, they'd be walking to the back. Everybody be stunned in the front, right? Uh, Freaking Kai got his whole, like, rig set up where Lizzie got the whole rig set up where it's like a room inside the 
it was like the renaissance or some shit uh but anyhow i'm walking back to my trailer and kai said hey man come over here so I, you know i walk up hey what's going on man he said hey bro what's your real name and i told him my real name and he's like uh yeah but that ain't what i said i think that's pretty solid for a race car driver name and he said nah uh, that's, that's pretty good, but that's not what we calling you. And I said, damn, well, what you calling me? And he looks at Lizzie and says, uh, what's smoke calling this dude? And she goes, I don't know, Jimmy something. He goes, Jimmy Dale. I said, you know what, Kai? I can fuck with Jimmy Dale. I'm cool with that. Yeah, Jimmy Dale will work for me. So I ran over to smoke. I said, what you been calling me, boy? He said, Oh, shit. Jimmy Dale says, Big Jim to you, son of a bitch. And since then, you're just kind of getting called Jimmy Dale or whatever. And uh, a few nights after that, I raised smoke because, uh, you know, we're still going at it back and forth, back and forth. Oh, I'll drag you. I'll drag you. You easy. <laughs> so me and Smoke lock in for 500, and he gets the back tire. But we just wanted to race. We just wanted to race. And me and Poland, actually, Poland called him out. Poland called him out on Blue Collar and was like, you know, uh, we're both in the same town. We both got streetcars. Let's get it on. And so they, uh, so we raced one of these nights. And uh, Clyde, Claude, Claude, right? Claude, the black, Kai, Kai Kelly's black car, Claude gets the back tire to Magic Johnson. And at first, they were giving him the back bumper, like, bro, no, 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 no. Your back tire is to my front, like, like this. I don't know. That can be kind of taken a few different ways, but anyhow, so I gave Smoke the back tire, and I drove right around him. He was all over the place. I was all over the place. And, uh, and I drove around him. Well, then come back around, and they're like, run it back for 500. Bet. Okay, bet. Let's do it. So we run it back, and then they said, uh, we'll do it heads up this time. <laughs> no brainer, bro. I just gave you the back tire and fucked you up. Why would I not? Yeah, bet. Absolutely. And so then come back around, and Kai Kelly's driving now. And so, boom, I let go of the button, and I... I was late. I was late on the tree. Kai Kelly treed me, and I couldn't run him down. And then I had to pedal, and Poland kept telling me, you know, Poland and Rascal were there, and they're saying, like, bro, we could have pedaled or we could have got treed, but we couldn't have got treed and pedaled. Like, it was either one or the other. There wasn't really much of the same, you know? Like, you weren't going to run him down. Uh, so, yeah, that's how the Jimmy Dale name came to be. Oh, and then... JJ showed up on the set the next day and he's all over here talking to Smoke and Smoke's over here. Whoa! And uh, JJ said, man, Smoke, you can't talk because Jimmy Dale fucked you up last night. Was the fight real on the show? Yes. Thousand percent real as can be. Yo, what's up? Donnie's Garage. Mike Olette. What? You run beer money? I ain't got no business next to beer money. What? Guys. I got a true street car. True street. Kai is a guessing, anticipating motherfucker. Kai did a great job, and I was fatigued. That's my excuse for that. I was tired. Thanks, Jimmy. That was great. Where's the old man at? He's inside doing voiceovers. Hey, can y'all do me a solid right now? Can you hit the like button just for whatever that even does? I don't know if it does anything at all, but can we just try it? Like... Surely it does something. Is your engine done, Jimmy Dale? Nah, baby. My engine's not done. We got the short block done yesterday. Camshaft, camshaft came in from Iski. I did start working on something. Here, you want to see something cool? I did start working on something new today. Actually, I didn't really do shit. Again, I keep telling you all that. Yeah, filming to daylight is no joke. Yeah, Gabe, that's exactly what it was. Like, we're filming until the sun's coming up. And then you like race back, you race back to the hotel and you try to get in the hotel and shut the blinds before the sun 
comes all the way up so you can get some type of sleep because if the sun comes up, you ain't getting no sleep now. Yeah, look at that. We just got 200 likes. I totally get it. Everybody forgets to do it. I forget to do it. It happens. Um, what was I showing y'all? I was going to show y'all something. Oh, yeah, check this out. Nobody hit the like button but me. Nah, bro, it was like 400 a minute ago, and now it's like 700 almost. Almost. Oh, there it is, 702. Hit, nice! Look at this, though. Is this fire or what? Still need to clean it up a little bit. But check that setup out, boy. Look at that. Big boy. Big boy. Is that icy or what, dude? Check it out. So you got your carburetor regulator, stage one regulator, stage two regulator on a fuel log. Check them out. Pretty nice combo. Raska actually built this. Uh, I'm just kind of cleaning it up and kind of moving shit how I want it. I'm going to try to clock these to where they're all the same direction. My show's 32 likes. That's fine. I'm cool with I'm cool with uh, 32 likes. Whatever likes, guys. You can thumbs down if you want. Whatever makes you happy. If if that makes you happy, I want you to be happy. So, and then look, it comes with this gangster bracket. So that bracket will go on the back side like that. You see what I'm saying, gang? It's gonna be sick. Super stoked about it. I need to modify this bracket a little bit. But other than modifying that bracket, uh, look, got my lines. Got to make the lines. Got a new fuel log. Fuel log situation. How long you been racing? Bruh. 2017. I went to my first. Well, that's not. That's a lie. I've been going to the racetrack since I was a little kid, but 2017 is when I'd had my first. That's when I had my first competitive race car shit. 2017, the yellow belly. That's when we, that's when I really started focusing. Uh, yeah, isn't that icy, bro? Super icy, super stoked about this. So this means this means I won't have a one gallon in my car no more. Yo, dog. This guy just sent 50 bucks. They're wanting to know where your shaky ass is. Oh, my shaky ass is right here. Shaking his ass right in here. Look at that what? shirt. Yeah, I'm live, bro. I got 1,200 people on this job. Covered in salsa. Yeah, I told him about your Mexican food, how you eat Mexican food, chicken nuggets. <laughs> That's what his new nickname is, chicken nugget. <laughs> but, hey, I got that line done, and then... Feel that shifter, bro. It feels sloppy. 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 What do you mean sloppy? Maybe slop B because it's not really ideal. Really? It's not ideal. It feels feels like mush. mush? Yeah. Feels like mush. Should have had a dush. Right? Isn't that what the kids say? Oh, no. That's, that's perfect, Jimmy. It's good? Oh, yeah. I said it in neutral. No, it's fucking All right. It's he says... It's trash or it's mush? It's trash. It's terrible. The shifter? Yeah, everything. Send this guy a new shifter. After you go buy a Jimmy Dale Racing t-shirt. Ha ha, you thought I wasn't going to plug my merch. You're crazy. Dude, this next video is fire. How fire? Fire. What part is your favorite part? This part. Oh, are they going to get a sneak peek? I got 1,200 people on here. Can they get a sneak, yeah, peek? They can get a sneak peek? Oh, boy, sneak peek to the old man's video. Let's go. All right, here we go. All right, here people we go. Don't, look, oh, people oh. definitely. All right, so people think that Tommy edits my stuff. No, no, no. facts. Absolutely people not. People think that it's done on a computer. No. No, no, no. No, it's done on fucking iMovie. iMovie. You're going to teach me cap cut, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to teach you cap cut. Right, yeah, yeah. Listen. He's so, already getting it. Okay, so the backstory here is me and Jimmy Dale go to trails today. We test the Malibu, right? Yep. 
And then I come home. We come home. We come home. Yeah. I'm still a person. We got the glare. There it is. I come home to this. I come home to this. All I wanted to do was come home and mow my freaking grass. Well, you did get to mow your grass. I did, barely. It reminded me of one of those Cletus McFarland durability tests on the starter. That's what I thought yes. it was. The, the Crown Vic is leaving. The battery stays. That battery is for real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The hey, we should take the battery that was in the Malibu and put it in that, Johnny, and I take that one. I already had to do that this morning. Oh, okay, okay. 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 The backstory is somehow, somehow. One of you guys. Somehow, That's what it was. No. Yeah. Somehow, I ended up paying Kenny Powers eight hours today, right? Oh, boy. At least eight hours. This is what Vicky was talking about. I know where this is headed. You know where this is headed. This is where Vicky wants me to put the phone down. Somehow it's it's my responsibility to pay Kenny when he shows up. When he decides to show up, we don't know when he's coming or going anymore. But when Kenny showed up today, unannounced, didn't know he was coming, I paid Kenny eight hours to detail, what would you call that thing? A derby car? That's what they're calling it. The derby car. The derby car. The derby car. Okay, so what you haven't seen is that we took the derby car for a test drive. That was great. With the dog. Yeah, June Puck went with me. And the test drive in the derby car got the derby car muddy. Yeah. Filthy. Yeah. Which it already stunk like a trash can inside before it got here. I don't think it was that bad. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad? Yeah. So... We test drive the derby car. This is all coming out of my video, by the way. But we test drive the derby car. We get the derby car dirty. The next day, Kenny shows up, and I wasn't here. I wasn't here. We were at the track. And uh, I paid Kenny eight hours to wash and detail a derby car. Why did you tell him to wash and detail the derby car? I didn't. <laughs> That's the whole point. Like, I, like, we come back from the track, and Kenny has got, like, the power washer out and ed, all my jack swag shit detailing this freaking derby car inside and out. And and then what does he do? He detailed it. He details the inside of the derby car and then guts it. And guts it. <laughs> and guts it. <laughs> Why detail it if you're going to gut it? Oh, why do you just gun it first and then detail it? Like, it don't make as much sense. I don't understand. Gun it. Okay, so the derby car did run until Kenny decided to power wash and detail under the hood. Oh, but yeah, that's what every derby know. car needs. Well, you never know when you need to pop your hood. Details under the hood of a derby car. Kenny Powers. Kenny Powers. So he probably the armor all it. Jack Swax detailing the derby car the derby car would barely run it wouldn't run face it it would not run for an hour they cranked on it for one whole hour that battery is a champ hey while they cranked on it your boy made look i made all this yeah, trans cooler really lines i made hey, both trans cooler lines can we show them well i mean kind of like that but they oh. haven't really no, don't don't, don't you know, show that. Don't they haven't that. seen shit. Uh, there's some. There's a pile of ice. Straight icy, Straight and icy. we don't have insurance, so we don't want to freeze anybody's eyeballs right now. <laughs> That's the facts. We don't have any workman's comp for your eye Just injuries. Real Just real quick. All right. Okay, here you go. Look Would at you that. look at that, Johnny? I see, bro. Where do you think that came from? Well, I, I mean, it's really clear where that came from, yeah, it boys. It came from right there. Oh, look. But it's an ATM blow-through chromed-out carburetor. It is icy, like real icy. Now I'm just, the, okay, now the I'm just showing them the whole thing. The carburetor is worth more than the entire car. Yeah, probably. 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 Definitely uh, worth more than the whole engine. Yeah, I know if you guys call ATM and you're like, yo, code magic or uh, uh, code fucking <laughs> code OMG, baby, though. No? 
They'll hook it up. Also, if you call Nitro's Express and you're like, yo, I'm boys with Jimmy, hook it up. Can I get a picture with you? I have free Jimmy Dale shirt. Bro, I'm not a huge fan of the free Jimmy Dale shirt. That's a sensitive subject. Not a, not, <laughs> well, wait until after trial, baby. All right. I, <laughs> I, I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. <laughs> oh, she wants to play with the ball. She Jim wants Pope. to play with the ball. There's a ball. Yeah, so I think Kenny Powers, in my opinion, <laughs> Kenny Powers woke up this morning and was like, I got to go to work. And she's like, what are you going to do today? Well, I got to get that derby car going. <sighs> and she said, it's an, are you sure? And he said, yeah, I got to detail it and then pull it apart. <laughs> <laughs> so now, like, where did all the interior go? Probably back there in the field where shit goes. I'll, I'll bet you anything it's on Marketplace already. The interior? Yes. How much can you get for a Crown Victoria interior? I don't know, but I paid him. Like, why would you detail an interior just to remove it and throw it in the trash? Obviously, he's not. I don't know. I was very impressed by the level of dedication it takes to remove the glass out of the doors. I would have just busted the glass out and vacuumed it out with a shop vac, and we've been done. But no, he removed every piece. Well, what if you need to? What if you need to put it back in it? No, that's not. Here's this was my idea for the crown bick. All right, get it running right, and then put a set of RC comps on it, and then it's a Jimmy, no. then it's a no. rental. It's not a rental. It's rental. the loaner. It's the loaner for when Tony and Tess come into town. Perfect. Yes, when Tony and Tess that's or anybody, anybody, yeah, anybody comes into town, you get to drive the crown bick on the RC comps. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. That's a great idea. Hey, when the barn is done. We're getting the icy Crown Vic, and we're going to put it on RC comps. This, I'm speaking it into existence right now. Crown Vic on RC comps. You don't have to do a B-block in the rear. It'd be cool, but you don't have to. Look, your Kenny story really got them riled up. Oh, my God. They really love the Kenny story. Kenny got fired and hired three times on the way to dinner. <laughs> Oh I shit! Come home. Okay, so a few. Okay, this guy's getting a custom carburetor built by ATM for his nitrous motor because they have fantastic carbs and super affordable prices. That's fucking true. nailed it. That's it. Okay, so back. Uh, what I can't even remember what story I was on. Oh, I remember. I I remember. All right. So a few months ago, we had a little come to Jesus with everybody that works here. And I explained to them, uh, this is when Kenny had about an acre and a half of my two acres covered in junk vehicles that he owned. Can you name two of them? Uh, Jeep Cherokee times two. Two Jeep Ke a Cherokees. Camaro. A Camaro. I can't remember everything. Anyway. Three, NS10, that's good enough. Yeah, oh, four. So, uh, I explained to Kenny and everyone here that no longer would be would anyone be permitted to invite people to my house and drop off junk vehicles or junk in general. So pretty much no free junk policy. Right. And I, and I gave everybody like, I said, three weeks, all this shit. Like Kenny had like four cars here. Tommy had an S10 here. Billy had something here. I'm like, dude, it's got to go. So... Everybody cleaned their shit out. I finally just got rid of the S10 that Tommy left here, and I drug it to Bucko's house. Remember that in the video? Dragging that yeah. into Kirkersville? Yeah, and you're just ran, running into Billy the whole time? Yeah, that's the backstory. Yeah, that was great. I come home. When was it? Yesterday? Yeah. It was yesterday. I come home yesterday. Old oh, man's not going to blow a head gasket. He's doing a great job with his uh, stress uh, manage. People think I'm just a grumpy, no good asshole for no reason and i'm telling you there are reasons I like kenny home. charging you eight hours yeah, today to work on his own project yeah something like that anyway <laughs> so i come home yesterday we pull in the driveway and there's this black silverado pickup truck with an empty car hauler behind it and rob's sitting on the trailer and kenny's out there smoking a cigarette i'm like okay i don't know this guy 
I don't know why he's in my driveway. I don't know what the trailer's for. So I go out back and I park the 64 and I come back in the shop and by the time I get, by the time I walk from out back to in here, truck and trailer is gone and Kenny and Rob are walking back. I'm like, where'd the truck and trailer go? Oh, he left. Oh, well, who was it? Cause he was in my driveway, I don't know the guy. It was a guy. It was a guy. Oh, oh, he's dropping off the Derby car. Derby car? Yeah, I think his name's Derby Dan. <laughs> Derby Dan's. I said, what? Derby cars. What? Derby car. Oh, it's out back. Yeah. We'll see how that. Went. Yeah, it, you're going to upload a video tonight. No. Why not? No. Because you got to have a conversation in the morning. I got to have a conversation with Mark in the morning. This is all sneak peek stuff here. Guys. Yeah. This is you guys are really getting the. Look, June's just like, look, dude, I don't care what Kenny does, throw the damn ball. But I love Kenny to death. But I never know when Kenny's coming to work. Like, I don't know one day. Sure you do. No, Payday. Well, yeah. <laughs> that was a I good job. I don't day the next when Kenny's coming. I don't know how long Kenny's going to be here. You know, I just don't know. So it's hard to schedule work for Kenny when I don't know if he's coming. So, like, today I left, and I didn't know if Kenny was going to be here. And he doesn't text. He doesn't call. He can't get a hold of him. It's Kenny doesn't know how to text? No, it's a whole thing. So. Oh. So today I leave not knowing if Kenny's coming. There's no sense in even asking because you never know. And sometimes he says, yeah, I'll be there. And he doesn't show. But so <laughs> I leave today and I come back and I paid him eight hours to detail and dismantle a derby car. Are you driving the derby car? No. Let me ask this. Who do you think is going to drive the derby car? Hmm. Who do you think? Uh, KP? Probably. My, here, get this. This is Bill's idea. Bill said that we need to jump the creek in the back of the property. We will jump the creek. Yeah. And if, I'm literally going to build a ramp right here in front of the, I'm building a ramp right here in front of the 50 foot trailer. Yeah. I'm going to tie a string to the steering wheel and lay a brick. On Bullshit. The <laughs> Bullshit. If Kenny wants to go demolition derby, he has to jump the creek. Let's talk about facts. The facts are, Kenny, you want to go demolition derby and you're going to have to jump the creek in the Crown Vic. My favorite part is like, where's Kenny? Where's Kenny? Everybody's in the comments. Where's Kenny? I don't know. Nobody does. Nobody does. Hey, I know where 1,500 <laughs> shaky sons of bitches are, though. 1,500 shaky Johnsons in here. Look at this. Here's some history for you. Oh, here's another one. Oh, it's missing some points. They took the seat out of the back of my Nova. And this is like, uh, I told Kenny to throw this stuff away, and he didn't do it. He's a pack rat. Like, this is everything they found literally just under the seat of my Nova. Dial in. There's What's one, this? Two, three. This is for bracket racing. This is what you put your dial on. Ew. <laughs> I got it on my hands. Holy crap, look how many bottles of dial in. Are how many? Do they make you that fast? Dude, that's they would that's how you go 7-0? They would disappear underneath my seat, and I. <laughs> yeah, like, I think that's enough dial in, dog. You got another one right here. There were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bottles of dial in under the seat of my Nova. You think it still works? Yeah, probably. What are you going to. Oh, you have to put your dial in. Yeah. That's why it's called dial in. Right. I like, get these it. These are time slips. Oh, yeah. Filthy, this one. Like, I used to write down, it was 74 degrees, barometer 30.01, 44% humidity. Some real bracket racing stuff. Yeah, there. I was using 900 delay, leaving at 5,200. What's a delay? Delay box. I was Disgusting. Going, yeah. Oh, dude, this is a Super Street. 1090 index was Super Street. Can we got a date on there? Oh, God, I don't think you can read it. Surely there's a date on there. Yeah, there is. 2003. May. 2003, May. Bro, yeah. it's May right now. Yeah. May 25th, 2003. Oh, hey, fucker, it's, dead mouse. it's 2023 right now. This is exactly 20 years old. Wow. That's Isn't that cool. wild? Yeah. That is pretty cool. There's you like better put a little wing on old man's car. Hey, so I had this great idea about the little wing oh. to put on old man's car. I wanted to color match the little wing. Yeah. Yeah, you know how Mark sells that matching paint down at A1? We could have the little wing 
we could color match the little wing on old man's car and then it would blend right in the back it would still add the added downforce probably wouldn't have done a wheel yeah yeah we're not going to tell them about that you guys check that out on the video well they've seen it on facebook so how long are you gonna stay live um, I didn't I'm, know you were live when I came out. I've been live for like an hour and a half, so oh I should probably God. stop at some point, you know. Oh my God. Yep, you guys oh, go over to Jim and Dale. Feed, Jim and Dale, you, you did a good job bombing the live feed. I'm probably going to get off of here. It's shoe polish. Yeah, it's shoe polish that they rebranded it into bracket racing goo. It's definitely not shoe polish. It's not? No. Shoe polish does not come off. Oh, but that stuff just wipes off. Oh, proprietary. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I need to head inside so I can go get me a beverage. Dude, you gotta check out this freaking video. I've been in there editing. Let's the do it. Crown Vic part. Yeah. It's hilarious. This Let's is probably do it. gonna be the best video I've ever put out. I think your last video was one of the best videos you ever put out. Hands down. I think everybody in the comments would probably agree that's uh, probably one of your better videos. Know. But this next one? Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, I went live for an hour and a half, so I don't have to come up with a video. So. <laughs> Is that what you're up to? That's uh, a great idea, right? It was a good idea. I mean, it worked out pretty good. We pleased 1,400 people for a minute. Bro, 1,500 watching, and you're not at Yellow Belly. people watching? Yeah. This. This bullshit right now. That's what he says. Well, 1,462, because I just told half of them that we're, you know, we're leaving. But yeah, so they're like, peace I, out. Yeah, they're like, okay, fuck off, dude. Uh, so the when, real guys are still hanging with us. We lost 60, but it's okay. 40, th uh, no, 43. We're, we're going to stay alive for another 30 minutes. Yeah, got them. We just need to weed out those shaky <laughs> sons of bitches. Weed out the shaky yeah, the shaky motherfuckers, right. Exactly. Hey, old man's trying to work on his language. Language! <laughs> Watch the language. Had a guy. I told the guys down at the church about <laughs> old man's garage, and he's got horrible language. It's just really embarrassing. Huh? Oh, about this. Oh. When this showed up today. They don't give a flying fuck about this. Bro, Vicky almost lost her shit. Actually, Vicky did the maddest I've yeah, ever seen Vicky no, my whole no, life. No, no. That wasn't the maddest. Maybe the maddest you've seen her. Me, maddest I've seen her. She was, she was not joking around. She was asking serious questions. Okay. How are we going to afford a barn if you keep buying shit like this? So let me explain. These are discontinued. You can't buy these anymore. They're made by Team Associated. They're one of my favorite things to collect. They're monster trucks. They're powered by nitromethane and alcohol. How and many do you have already? I, I don't know. That many or zero? That many. That are in the aluminum chassis? This no, is no, a no, super no. ultra rare version. No, 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 no. This is not, the these team are associated. aftermarket parts. These are aftermarket parts that you can no longer get. Yeah. They don't manufacture these anymore. Yeah, and See? the parts you can't get. I'm going to flip it around and give you all so, a better look. So these lower... These people are going to go to sleep watching this shit. Low, it's got aluminum upper and lower control arms, aluminum billet shocks, and axle carriers, and and shock towers, and it's all like really nice shape. It looks great, except for the tires. The tires, uh, not so much. These are old; they don't make them anymore. Obviously, this one's been sitting in a window or something, and it's dry rotted the tires, or maybe sitting in someone's basement in the water. I don't know. But anyway, I found this thing on eBay, and I just. It was a good deal. I had to have it because the parts are... Somebody's got to ban this guy from eBay. Yeah. So, I'll, uh, I'll fix it up. There you, there you go, folks. Just, he's going to fix it up, and then he's going to give it away, folks. Oh. Whoop! Whoop! Listen, Looks like a headache to me. Listen, this is what they look like when I get them done. Oh, oh my gosh. Looks like every other one you've ever had. No, you can't buy them oh. like this. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. No, you can't buy this Look, guys, this one's got blue anodized upper and lower control arms. It's a little dirty. Billet aluminum shocks. It has got a C10 body, custom candy painted from House of Colors. K10. Huh? K10, Check C10, same roll thing. Uh, uh, roll bar. It's actually... freaking mirrors. Like, it even says Cheyenne on the fenders. 
You know, Jesse James welded this thing in. It says Cheyenne on the fenders. Well, See how it, much bigger the tires are? Oh, See, yes. See, I lift them and put bigger tires on them. And yes. Really nice bodies on them. Very nice. Yeah. Definitely need rehab for RC cars. Yeah. You know what's also old that they don't make anymore? <laughs> Got him! Got him! Hey, y'all go and buy old man garage merchandise. <laughs> old things. Vicky ordered so many of them, nobody buys them anymore. Quit buying stuff? Bro, this is actually super fire. This fucking coffee color shit. I like this. This will get you a hot girlfriend. All right, boys? I'm pointing you in the right direction. Y'all need a bigger nose to get her hotter girlfriend. That's how it works. It's just facts. All right? <laughs> Woof. Everybody came on the live to watch Billy blow his nose. Where's Billy's new yellow car? Billy's new yellow car is at Billy's house. Good night, bro. I'm falling asleep. See, that's how you know what's time to get off. Billy, you're killing me. Bill, you're killing me. Look at all of them up there. All right, well, you don't want me to do it, but I'm going to count them anyways. No, you're not. Oh, no, yeah, Cheyenne. Don't count them, don't count them, because then Vicky will know how many's out here. <laughs> As if she can't count. Two of them don't them. worry, though. She can't count. There's another one down there. There's two of them hanging there. I don't know how many's up there, and there's some behind them. Here's one. I lost count, folks. There's another one. There's another one. I think there's two more back there. There's a few. Nothing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What's the difference in this one on the 55 and the one that you just showed me? Different body, different motor. Oh. Oh, and then there's like six of them laying here for parts. He said different body. Guys. Guys. What? Different body. They make them in red, blue, black, silver, and copper. Look at that body. Where'd this body go? Oh, that's the truck you just showed that's me. That's the one I'm restoring. Oh, that's okay, what I'm okay. Up. All right. What about the... I don't think people get to see this one very often. This this is the OG one right here. Look, the SRC Channel Blazer. K5 Blazer. Let's see if it's got a battery in it. Watch this. Oh, he said, I'll crack it off. Oh, no, it don't have a battery. No. Nope. The headlights and the side markers, the taillights, everything works. The side markers work? Yeah, everything. No, works. that's impressive. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Pretty yeah. cool, man. All so, right, folks. What? Oh, I'm just making fun of my fucking RC stuff. I'm not making fun of your RC stuff. Uh, you got me in my feels now. In your feels? Yeah, we'll wipe them off. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Hey, did they see that freaking yellow Mustang Billy bought? They did. They were asking, where's Billy's new Mustang? Oh it, for, I haven't seen it in person. Neither one of us have seen it in person yet. But from the photos that we've seen. The story? Of the Cobra? I uh, know. About the Ford thing. Yeah, yeah. But you got to hold the phone now. Because no, no, I'm no, getting no, arm no, pumped. No, no, no. That's your phone. You hold it. All right. So the other day, I'm sitting on my couch and my phone goes off. And it's Tim Neely from ATM innovation carburetors right yeah he's like hey man i just i saw this come through today and i have to share it with you i don't know if you know who this is but it's kind of a big deal the you yellow ever, car huh the cobra no 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 this is the carburetor you don't even know what i'm talking about well let's just well let's start let's back at the beginning uh, no this is the beginning you said do you know the history of the yellow car no i'm not even talking about the yellow car it's the reason why I'm... just listen Okay, so Tim Neely sends me this message. He's like, I, this came through today, and it's an order from Holman and Moody. Uh-huh. You know who Holman and Moody were? No. They used to build all the Ford racing cars, like NASCAR. Uh, they did stuff for just about everybody back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Holman Moody, Ford racing team. And uh, <clears throat> so, he, so Tim calls them. He's like, hey, man, why didn't you just call us instead of just ordering online? He's like, oh, I watch Old Man's Garage, and I'm sold on their carburetors. This is the Holman Moody race team, Ford racing team. Like, they, they listen to your cars. shaky yeah, ass? They, they watch my stupid Must shit, be so. getting dementia. Yeah. 
I just thought that was really cool because I'm not a Ford guy. You know what I mean? I'm definitely not. Definitely a Ford not guy. a Ford guy. But that meant a lot to me. That that really did. So anything from here on out, as much as I hate to say it, if anything shows up here that's a Ford, it stays Ford. I'm Gross. Kidding. Yeah. Ugh. They got me. They got giving me, me anxiety. Me there about that. The Falcons LS powered because it was that way when Billy bought. That's not my problem. Bro, the Falcons the most reliable thing that's ever come through these doors. Put that down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, but yeah, so Billy. Other than not starting, right? That's like the downfall of the Falcon. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. it'll do everything great, but you want it to start on a whim? Nah, nah. So when Billy decided to go get that Ford, I said, I don't care what you do, but it's got to stay Ford powered from here on out. Anything that we bring in that's Ford stays Ford powered from here on. That's pretty cool. And that's a little bit of why. I mean, if you're a Ford guy, it's pretty well, cool. Well, my grandpa was a Ford guy, too. The uh, guy I'm named after was a Ford guy. Oh. Uh -huh. So you're kind of a Ford guy? Mm, no. Oh, gotcha. But I respect it. I do. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. These guys in the comments know who that is. Holman Moody? Yep. Yeah. If you're an OG, you know who, who Holman and Moody race team was. They said you should call Mike Lau for your next motor. <laughs> Mike Lau actually did that engine. Mike Lau's a good guy. I've got a story about Mike Lau sometime I'll share with you guys that nobody knows. It's a really good story. It's hey, this guy has an honest question. Huh? Not a dishonest question, an honest, honest one. Question. He really means it, okay. honestly. Okay. Can you spray nitrous through a motor on alcohol? Do you need to use race gas in the one gallon? I would. I agree. 100%. If you called Nitrous Express and you said, I have an alcohol race engine and I want to spray nitrous on it, mm -hmm. they would tell you, we would love for you to have a standalone with race gas in it. So, so yes. Backstory, I used to do that. Oh, there you go. But I didn't spray gas. I sprayed alcohol. And it'll work to a point, but it makes a whole lot more power when you spray it with gas. There you go. Yeah. I used to do that a long time ago. My car ran on alcohol for almost 18 years, the Nova. Uh -huh. When I was racing it, it was on methanol. And I had a 200 shot or 300 shot on it. And I would hit it on the button. Finish <laughs> line driving, you know, bracket racing shit. I like it. I'm laughing at this guy's comment because he's talking about uh, Ford staying Fords. And he said, only gay 20% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them. Tell them. What's up, Bill? See y'all at War in the Woods. Yeah. We will be at War in the Woods, bro, for sure. Hopefully. Built for tough with Chevy stuff. Break out the nitrous alcohol jet chart. No. If you guys have any carburetor issues, just ask an old man. No, you call ATM. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what you do. Call you, ATM. You call the people who made your carburetor. Yeah. Whoever your carburetor is, if you have ATM carburetor, call ATM. If you got a Biggs carburetor, call Biggs. If you got a Holly, call Holly. Fourteen hundred. Still, we gotta get rid of some. People. We gotta shake them off. No, all right, guys, we're done for the night. That's all. Y'all want to see what's in the trash at uh, Street Race Channel? Mountain Dews, shocker. Kenny is in the house today. I'll, I'll tell I'll tell these guys a story about why I hooked up with ATM. You want to hear that? I want to hear it, but without a drink, I'm getting a little frustrated. Is there anything in the mini fridge? I don't know. You're parched? I'm parched. I'm about to drink whoever's water that is. I don't even know whose it is, but I'm going to drink it. Man, Kenny left us dry. We got one A1 packet in there. A lonesome A1 packet. we should start doing this more often. We'll just do a story time with the old man every once in a while. Yeah. You want to hear about the first time I smoked weed? No. That was a good joke, though, wasn't it? Hey, we got to turn all these lights off if we're done for the night. Huh. Yeah, you got to do voiceovers, don't you? I'm going to get me one of those ice cream. I'll do it tomorrow. Me and Vicky are having ice cream. I'll do it tomorrow. Miss Vicky's my ice cream buddy. I'll do it tomorrow. Thank you. Sneak, it's Steve Morris, SMX in the Nova. Oh, yeah. Hey, sneak me 250000 and we'll do something like that. <laughs> Am I right? Steve Morris is a good dude. Oh, great dude. Just can't I afford him. His, I watch all his videos when I got time. 
Steve Moore. Almost knocked those cylinder heads out. Look, this is how you know they're ready for Jimmy to go home. They moved all Jimmy's stuff to the front of the door. Here, Jim. You can get out of here now. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, bud. See you Saturday, bro. See you Saturday. Oh, my God, dude. What? The best car in the whole parking lot ain't got an engine in it, but <laughs> it's all right. <sighs> Come on, Jim Pup. You already know Magic Johnson's going to, well, I don't want to grudge y'all. I don't want to grudge y'all, but I will knock the fucking silver off that motherfucker <laughs> out there. I'm letting you know. That's exactly what will happen. I'll knock the paint right off it. Just make sure we race before y'all repaint the bottom half, you know? Copy. Out of here. See you later. How do you know, Johnson? <laughs> I'm serious. That's the fucking...